Hey, it's Raktar, and prepare yourself, because everything that you knew about this dungeon is about to change. Or, I believe so, yep, because there's this little mini sun. I'm going to call it a mini sun, because she's calling it soul, and soul means sun, so whatever. But yeah, you need to bring this thing, and you can control the Tweely, apparently, with it. And, sorry, hand. Sorry you had to die. I wonder if this hand is going to attack me. As I leave the room, but yeah, anyway, you'll notice that once you have this- Oh, it totally is! This hand just couldn't leave well enough alone. And after I just battled a mini-boss, this hand has no shame. It kills me even after I have myself a sweet, sweet item to battle a mini-boss. I actually think, though, that if I recall correctly, I want to wait and see. I think what the hand does is the hand actually, um comes after the light orb and so your goal in this it, like with the hands now is to stay away from them and to keep the light orb away otherwise they will steal it and I think they'll bring it all the way back to this room so basically if you fuck up here I do believe the trick is or they just bring it back to the beginning of the room you're in I forget I'm hoping because like I, I forget because I haven't played this game in a long time I'm hoping I won't find out because you know what I mean if I can just make it through a zone without making any mistakes, that would be great. I would love it if I could just make it through a zone without making any mistakes. But, oh shit, what are those? These bugs are gonna ruin it. These, they're not bugs, they're like shadow bugs, so I guess they are bugs, I don't know. Seriously though, these bugs are gonna ruin everything, and this box... I missed this box before, how the fuck did ever I miss this box? I don't know, but I want the sweet, sweet- wait, I have the compass! But this kind of saddens me. I must have done something wrong because I got the compass, but I never got the map. Oh, and no, no, no. The hand is here. The hand is... Oh, shit. Falls. I was... I was too reckless. And now, I don't even know where the hand is. Ah, uh, crungle. Bungles. There's too many of these little things bothering me right now for me to get the fucking hand again. I can't get a lock. Where did the hand... Oh, there he, there he is. I was like, where is that damn hand going? Turning me into a wolf. I already knew that was going to happen. Whatever. That's fine. I'll deal. But now, we got to get... So, I'm kind of sad. I was hoping that I was just going to be able to... I was like, dude, what if I get through this whole area and I don't show what happens if you mess up? And then, sure enough, I messed up. So, I did some field testing in the next room. And I did the field testing so I could sort of learn about just how this weird-ass hand functions. And I learned a few things. And that is, firstly, that you can stun the hand if you hit it, but it's not a long... It's not a very long stun. It just kind of, like, is a really quick stun. It's almost worthless to do. But what's more important than the fact that you can stun the hand is the fact that, um... You can use your hookshot to grab the orb out of... Oh shit, uh, You can use your or you can use your hookshot to grab the orb out of the hand's hand, for lack of a better term. The hand is a hand, but yeah, so you can just grab the hookshot out of the hand, but only if you're quick to act. So basically, you got not a lot of time to sort of just, like, grab that shit back, and then he won't make it into the previous rooms. So now, I'm wondering... Oh crap, the hand is gonna make it to me, but I want to see... If there, if how you get to this secret, oh, you have to, you have to drop your ball. That's dangerous. In fact, just to be safe, and to keep it from the hands. I wonder if the hand can come. Why I don't see why the hand wouldn't be able to come through the shadows. But, dude, great, great, sexy reward by the way for doing that. All right, hand. Apparently, the hand is afraid of uh, the shadows or just refuses to come back here. Oh, we gotta get out now though. Ah, you you want that? You don't want me? You want the you want the thing, dude? Doesn't even matter if the hand gets the thing right now because uh, then I can just get it back, sucker. Yeah, that's right. All right, now we gotta search. Nah, just a pot. I feel like compelled now to check every single one of these corners, except for I already know because of my compass that there's no boxes, and what do I care about anything but a box, right? I only care about the sweet, sweet power of justice. And the sweet, sweet power of shadow balls. Just caring about the sweet, sweet power of shadow balls is a really weird phrase. It just sounds strange. But yeah, I don't really care about... And I think, hopefully, it's nice and safe out here. Look! They become normal 
almost human looking dudes now. How very nice. That's very sweet of them. And yep, the hand can't make it out here. That makes sense. Because this strikes me as sort of those... One of those safe haven type areas in a game. I don't appreciate that you can't throw this thing very far. Come on. Alright, so presumably, I bet if I put this down in the spot, it'll open up a... Yep, a shadow. Oh no! I thought it would make a sweet, sweet bridge, but it doesn't. There should be one more soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw two slots on the ground. Come on, Midna. Let's be honest with ourselves here. I've played video games before. I know how it works. By the way, it didn't even occur to me. I'm gonna point something out here. So remember how I was complaining about how I got the compass, but how I didn't get the, um, the map? There's no boxes over on, um, there's no boxes over on that side, which means maybe this dungeon doesn't have a map. Which, I mean, if you look at the form of things, it looks like maybe they didn't feel the need to put in a map just because this room appears to be just two straight lines. And, you know what I mean? It appears to be like two straight hallways and then one other hallway, so... Maybe in like the- in like the real spectrum of things, they just kind of like, they thought about putting in- Oh, come on! Seriously? Arrows are supposed to travel at the speed of light, and you're not supposed to be able to- You're just a keys, a shadow keys at that! Let me tell you something I learned back in Nam. It's that shadow keys don't go faster than the speed of light- Can I not- Oh, that platform is moving, and I was stupid, and I was impatient, and I didn't... Oh my gosh, I was like shooting around the walls being like, What am I supposed to do here? And then it finally occurred to me that there is totally one on the ceiling that'll just pop you down on this little bad boy right here, and then all your problems are solved. I was... Embarrassingly enough, I was super confused about what I was supposed to be doing just now. Like, I honestly sat there, I sort of looked at the situation. Oh, he is gonna... Of course... Mysterious Shadow Zant Head just can't let me have my way with things. He's like, no! I am Mysterious Shadow Zant Head and I will shoot my shadow balls at you all day long and you're gonna like it. Okay, so there's four... There's supposedly four boxes in this room and I'm thinking I might need to kill Shadow Zant Head. Oh! What? Does Shadow Zant Head not get affected by bone arrows? Well, I don't want to deal with Shadow Zant Head right now, although I pretty much I think I have to deal with Shadow Zant Head if I want to make this, um, if I want to make this box appear because it looks like the box has a key in it. Oh, but Shadow Zant Head had, had to appear over there like a dick. And I seriously, I think he only gets affected by sword, which means I should probably position myself in such a place where I, he'll. Urgh! Shadow Zant Head, I don't appreciate the fact that you don't seem to get hit by arrows. Or maybe you do get hit by arrows and I'm just being an idiot, but as far as I can see, they don't seem to do any damage to him, and I don't like that. But here's my sweet, sweet key, my hero of justice that will save me and bring me to the land beyond. Although there is a- oh crap, oh good thing I landed on that. I was gonna say, there is a curiousness in me. Alright, so the other boxes that are shown on the map are clearly over in those rooms, and I will just ignore them for now, because it looks like it's just one of those cases where I can't get to them yet. Maybe I will end up getting some sort of item that will allow me to get to those. By the way, I didn't- there is like a thousand- obviously that's a gross exaggeration. There is a shit ton of boxes over here though, is what, I, what I'm trying to say. Is there is definitely- oh, where's the other one? Oh, we must be okay. We're gonna have to wolf it up, because I bet the other one is somewhere hiding in the shadows. Okay, where are you? Where are you, big guy? I know that... By the way, these guys seem to be, like, empowered by the shadows, which is bad. Alright, let's do... Make my thing up here. I can't... Ugh! Oh, I can't... See shit. This is really annoying me. And I'm getting my ass kicked down here. Ugh! Oh, I seriously... Okay, let's get out of the shadow. I'm getting my ass... Desperately handed to me. Oh, this is so bad. Why is this happening like this? I just want to see like every time I try to do this. It's not working All right, fuck You guys are cheating and I do not appreciate it. All right. Is that all of you? Oh shit They got a hit off on me right as I was about to do it All right Finally that was terrifying Seriously, game, if you wanted to scare me, you finally figured out a way to do it because that legit scared the shit out of me. 
Fuck you, Zant Head. I just had to put up with a lot of shit from your shadow friends, and I do not want to deal with your bullshit, your Zant Head ass bullshit. You think you're just some head of Zant, which actually, your face looks a lot like the face of my father, which means I've got daddy issues. No, I'm just kidding. Um, where did. Oh, fuck this. There's like a billion shadow Zant heads now. I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate your multiplicity ass motherfuckers. You know what? I wonder if, uh, I can instantly kill Zant heads with, um, dog. with dog beams. Or if it just counts as one hit. Ugh! Zant heads! Maybe you have to kill them all at once. Oh yeah, that's probably it. Yep, fucking dog beams. I love dog beams. If I could choose one weapon for myself, it would be the legendary dog beam. By the way, there's still shadow keys in this room too. I do not... Can I just say, I mean I already said it, but can I just say again, I don't appreciate this room at all. This room is horrible. This is like the worst room ever. Can I get to- can I even get to these goddamn, uh, hookshat targets without being a lot closer to them? Alright, that's the intended. I was like, dude, what is the intended route here? And now I understand the intended route is doing this- oh, look at so many boxes! Wow, so box! Such is! We're gonna get every one. I want all the rupees. Hopefully... There's gonna be just a shit ton of rupees in here. For once, I won't be angry if the game gets me up to, um... For one time, ever, if the game puts me at 600 rupees, I will not be- Oh, there's no box here. I should've looked at the map and I would've known. Or, I could've just looked at the ledge itself and I would've known that there is no... There is not a box here. Alright, where are the boxes at? There's box there, box there. Alright, cool. Give me all your boxes, room. So many boxes on the map, I just want... I just want them all. These boxes are like fucking Pokemon right now. I just want to catch every box. Okay, there's my small key. That, now I know that I'm not trapped in this room for all eternity. Dude, you know what? That would be a way better way. If all these temples are functioning as intended, you gotta ask yourself why the... Why Ganondorf doesn't ever just think to just make a trap that just keeps Link trapped forever in a room. It's just like, hey. I'm just gonna trap you forever in room, you'll never get out, I win. Oh my gosh! This... This dungeon is so unique and original, it's the first time ever, ever in my life that I've seen them be like, Hey, we're gonna make it so there's a compass before there's a dungeon map. Well, slam a jamma. how did I miss this box before? Seriously, I was looking at the map and I thought I had them all. I thought I Pokemoned it, but apparently I didn't. Dude, this room gives you, like, a really satisfied feeling because they make it reasonably easy for you to get all the boxes, so you just come out of the room being like, Hey man, I did a great job. Now, how do I get out of this room? Oh my god, I feel so stupid right now. It's really easy to get out of this room. You just go back, you go through the next door. I was looking at the map and I got the doors switched around in my head. So I was, like, looking at it and I was saying to myself, where is the- where- I was like, where the hell is the next door? I seriously don't understand where I'm supposed to go right now. And then it all made sense once I finally got through there. That was so stupid. Well, I'm gonna end this episode right here. In the next episode, we're gonna see what enemy is standing between me and that ball of soul orb. This has been Rector. thank you for watching.